How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today I have just one question for you. How would you like to be rich? Well, in the context of Don't Starve Hamlet, the new single player DLC for Don't Starve. And what do I mean by rich? Well, in general I mean having a lot of oinks. Oinks are the currency of choice that the pigs use inside the Hamlet DLC to barter with you and they can also be used to increase Warbuck's passive sanity generation by carrying a lot of those oinks inside his inventory. Up until this point, we are of course aware of a few ways to get our hands on oinks. Some of them are more interesting than others. I think we can all agree picking up poo off of the ground for the pigs to get one oink is not exactly all that rewarding. Perhaps trading in some berries from the berry bushes can be a little bit more lucrative or maybe even taking some of that nightmare fuel over to the uh, erudite lady to trade in for five oinks on a daily basis could be seen as somewhat profitable. But there is a strategy that just blows all of these others out of the water. And to the point, I think that it's pretty obvious the developers will nerf this at some some point. It is simply too good to continue into the fully released version of the game, in my opinion, and in the opinion of others who I consider to be knowledgeable sources. So credit for the strategy goes to Angel Rose, who is the person who introduced me to its viability, and I'm going to do my best to demonstrate how this works. To get started with, you're going to need to find the ancient pig ruins that has the ancient herald statue above it. Now this ancient pig rune in particular is almost always found inside the poisonous jungle biome. So you're going to have to find the jungle biome that looks, it has a very dark kind of red color. And it's the one that when you enter into it without a gas mask in particular, you'll take damage at quite an accelerated rate. Now it's possible that the ancient herald statue with the ancient pig runes entranceway is just on the edge of that poisonous forest biome, which means that you won't actually have to go inside it. But for a lot of maps, you're going to at least need a gas mask to explore the poisonous jungle biome. Biome. So that's a pretty big early game hurdle. It's not necessarily all that easy to get a gas mask up and built, but once you do, it should be pretty straightforward from there. You're going to want to clear out the ancient pig runes that has the ancient herald statue piece above it, above its entrance, and then you'll go to, I think it's called the fifth island. It is the most recent island, and this is the island that holds a key to some of the secrets behind the apocalypse. So if you don't want any spoilers, I'm not going to spoil, spoil anything for that you can figure it out on your own but the important thing is that this is an important island for that as well as getting your hands on this large amount of oinks that i'm talking about here so on that island you're going to find another ancient pig ruins that we're talking about the fifth island here so let's just plot the journey right you start out on your first island island one you locate the ancient pig ruins there with the ancient herald statue above the ruins uh, the ruins entrance and then going through that ruins you'll find your way to the fifth island which has on it another ancient pig ruins with another ancient herald above that entranceway inside that ruins you're going to find what is called an ends well it's very similar to a wishing well if you've seen wishing wells in a, a, a normal sort of ancient pig ruins uh dungeon whatever you want to call this kind of maze uh, if you've found one of those wishing wells before, the ends well looks very similar to that, minus the uh, obvious pun of it being ends well, right? It's got well in it and it's like it, it all ends well. Anyway, this is a very special kind of wishing well and it allows you to drop nightmare fuel into it in exchange for purple gems. Every time you drop one nightmare fuel into it, you're going to receive either one or three purple gems, never two, interestingly enough. And if you do not drop a nightmare fuel into it, it'll spawn a shadow creature. So it could be a crawling horror or it could be a terror beat. But the point is that no matter what you kind of do, no matter what you come into that, that room in the ruins with, you're going to be able to acquire nightmare fuel. So let's say you walk in there, you don't have any nightmare fuel on you. You can just drop in very useless things, very low value items like maybe grass or twigs, and you'll be able to spawn shadow creatures that you can fight, get nightmare fuel, and exchange that in for purple gems. Now there is no limit on the ends well for converting nightmare fuel into purple gems. You can convert as many stacks as you would like and in the examples that I'm using I converted a couple of stacks and as you can see I got a few stacks in return uh, a few stacks worth of purple gems. Now you might be wondering what is the value of purple gems? Well at the bank in the first village or in any business that the banker pig is found in, another one is the general store I'm pretty sure, you're going to be able to exchange an unlimited number of purple gems for a 10 piece oink each. So each purple gem is worth a single 10 piece oink. And since you can exchange in unlimited numbers of these purple gems, you're going to be essentially
essentially getting an unlimited number of 10 piece oinks. And I think you can see pretty quickly how this could be kind of seen as an exploit. Now, the obvious way to cut down on how overpowered this means of generating commerce is would be to limit how many items can be put into the ends well, for one thing, or the number of gems that the banker pig will accept in a given day. Pretty obvious, pretty easy ways to sort of nerf this method. But up until that point, up until that actually happens, the fastest way you can possibly make oinks here in Don't Starve Hamlet that I have seen so far involves converting nightmare fuel into purple gems and then taking those purple gems, trading them in at the banker for lots and lots of 10 piece oinks. So I hope this helps get out there and enjoy being rich while you can in Don't Starve Hamlet. Thank you very much for watching as always, and I'll see you next time.